Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Atlas and also I'm going to be showcasing it, giving you guys some pointers um, and tell you why you should use Atlas. Uh, but if you not already know what Atlas is and you just want to get started installing it, there's a timestamp on the screen right now which you can skip to. Um, but yeah, let's get in, let's get in, let's get started with uh, uh, showcasing it. Okay, so we actually have the Atlas OS website, which is atlasos.net. You guys can go to this, um, but essentially you just download it and you can download the latest version. You can also view our change log down here. Uh, you guys can check out what has been made. We have a couple builds, uh, but you can only download the latest version. Um, but we do also do have a GitHub, which is uh, clickable down here at the bottom, um, which gives a much more detailed explanation of why you should use Atlas. Um, but essentially, um, so Alice is pre-tweaked. We've done almost everything to squeeze out the most performance and minimize latency and input lag. Uh, we've done this by doing the following. So we have a custom power plan, uh, which I'm also running Atlas, so I have that enabled right now. Uh, you have, we have, we've minimized services, so that means the system latency is going to be a lot less. And for people who are running bad, like worse systems, like really laggy, um, old components, um, then FPS is going to be um, a big part of having minimized services. Um, so this is a this is a really important thing. Um, we've also disabled any uh, useless drivers, anything that's like r on really really old systems. Um, we disabled devices that aren't being used. Uh, this is also good for system latency um, and also input lag. So we've done that. We've also disabled power saving. So we're making sure that nothing is being disabled to save power. Um, if you guys are on a laptop, then you probably uh, should look at a different alternative because this is strictly for gaming. Um, and that's the only thing that we are aiming to achieve. Uh, we disabled any po uh, performance hungry security mitigations, so such as Windows Defender, that is completely stripped. Um, it means you can get a lot less CPU usage because Windows Defender does take up quite a lot of CPU. Um, we've automatically enabled MSI mode, so that's for your graphics card um, and like your USB port, stuff like that. Uh, your boot, the boot configuration is optimized, so the installation for Atlas is a lot faster. Um, it's, there's a lot less to install as well, so Atlas is only 1.5 gigabytes or so, like around that, or maybe a little bit higher. Um, but compared to like, I think it's like, I'm not 100% sure on this, but it's around 8 gigabytes uh, that normal Windows is, but that's because it's packing all the other versions as well. Um, so, um, we also have, um, we've optimized process scheduling, so your CPU is going to be able to prioritize open apps instead of background apps. Uh, so this is also very important. So you guys can also see the source here. So we've included all the source here in case you uh, are not trusting um, Atlas. Uh, we also have the modules here too. Um, and also there is all the credits over here in case you want to check them out. Now we also have the Atlas Discord, which is linked in the description. In case when you're installing it and you become you have any issues, we can help you. Uh, do not do not be afraid to ask the community, um, as it says community ran. Or what you can do is you can create a ticket in case you have an actual uh, an issue with uh, an app is is not compatible, and you and you want to get that fixed. That we can look into it and help you out, and even release a new build where that is fixed. Also, make sure to follow us on uh, Twitter. We don't use it much, but we do appreciate it. So go ahead and do that too. So now you're probably wondering, um, so how do we, as a viewer, know that it's actually working? So I have a, um, I'm going to put a, a benchmark on the screen right now. So I'm going to be comparing normal windows to Atlas. You guys can see that there is a lava triangle benchmark and basically higher is better and lower is worse so Atlas does a lot better than normal windows at handling the light the lava triangle which is just processing um, a lot of data to be shown on your screen uh, this so this also be, uh, applies to any game it doesn't matter what game you are going to play on Atlas it's always going to perform better than normal windows and you're also good, probably going to perform better if you're playing competitively because you have a lot less system latency and your input lag is basically not there which is really really good so yeah now i'm going to move on to the installation guide um so if you haven't already leave a like on this video share atlas with your friends uh because we are, really are trying to make something which is a lot better for gamers for free anyway we'll see you guys in there okay so this is going to be the usb installation guide which you will need a usb which will have to be at least um at least two gigabytes in size if anything above that then that's going to be completely fine uh, so first thing you want to obviously go ahead and down Atlas, which you have the ISO. 
Uh, next, you want to go ahead and install a Rufus, or you can use Etcher, or you can extract it manually, but I'm going to be using Rufus for this tutorial. So you want to go ahead and uh, download it, you want to open it up, uh, as you guys can see. Now you want to select the device, so I'm going to be selecting my USB stick. Um, you then also need to select the ISO, which I'm going to do right now. So as you guys can see, now I have Atlas loaded. Uh, so now what we're going to be doing is we're managing the partition scheme. So what you want to do is you want to open up CMD. Uh, when you have CMD open, you want to do disk part, um, and then you want to do list disk. Now, when you've done that, you guys can see that your your disk is GPT. Now, you want to figure out which one that is. So, if you open up this, you can see both of your disks. So, my C drive is at only 500 gigabytes, so that would have to be my disk one. Uh, my hard drive is 931, so that must be my disk zero. Um, so what you want to do is if you don't have GPT, what you guys can do is you can do MBR and you can do it that way. Um, I don't recommend that. I would rather do GPT. And what you can do is you can translate your disk into a GPT and we will do that later on in, in the installer. When I mean later on in the installer, I mean when you've booted onto your USB stick to start the installation on of Windows, you would then clean your drive and then convert it into the GPT um, partition scheme. Um, and then that way you can easily install onto that. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. So uh, this can also be the same. You can change the volume label. This is just going to change the name of your, your USB stick. So change if you want to. Um, you can keep this as default. And then you want to go ahead and press start. Now, again, it's going to warn you and say that all data on the device will then be destroyed. So everything's going to be cleared. And it's going to put on the Windows files. So go ahead and wait for that to run. Once it says uh, ready right here like this, then that means you're good to go and you can then go on to the next step. So in the next step, what we want to do is we want to boot into your IV or boot selection um, menu or you can boot into the UEFI, uh, so into your BIOS and you can boot into your, your USB stick that way. If you don't know how to do this, then we have a little, um, a little shutdown exe command which you can put in your run box it automatically boots you onto the place where you can select your media which you want to boot onto um, so you want to copy this which will be in the description and you want to paste it in your run box and then press ok and your system will restart now as you're restarting you're going to have the menu of the boot selection you want to select your usb stick and then once you've selected your your usb stick from wherever your boot sequence is or anything like that um, if you do need help with this, again, join a Discord. Or what you can do is you can search up how to uh, boot onto a USB stick and then put your computer name or your motherboard model or anything like that. And it should come up with um, any images on like uh, Google or DuckDuckGo or anything like that. Uh, you can see where you need to go um, because it's different for everyone. Uh, but you want to boot onto your USB stick. So you're going to be granted with this menu. Now, once you've done this, you just want to press next, 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 and you'll come to all of your drives. Um, once you're at all of your drives, you want to um, format, basically clear your drive, which has Windows on it. So you should have remembered which one was your Windows drive. Normally, it's going to be disk zero or the one that says system um, next to it as the label of the volume. So now, now what you want to do is you want to hold shift on your keyboard and press F10. Then a CMD is going to pop up. And what you want to do is you want to do what we've done before, which is going to be disk part, one word, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. And then it's going to open up disk partition. And then what you want to do is you want to do list disk, L-I-S-T space D-I-S-K. Then it's going to come up with all your disks and you want to select the one which you want to completely clear. Now, what we said before about the GPT um, is then going to apply here. Now you want to select your disk that you want to clear. So you're going to do SEL, so cell, and then disk zero or whichever disk you want to uh, want to select. So SEL space DISK space zero. Then when you've selected your disk, you want to uh, then clean it. So you're just going to type clean. So C L E A N. Once you have entered that and it's now clean, uh, cleans, you're going to have no data on that. So any data that was on that drive is going to be cleared. Now what you want to do, if it was not GPT before, you want to do convert space GPT. So C-O-N-V-E-R-T space GPT. And that's going to convert it into the GPT partition scheme. 
and then you are good to go. So you want to you want to close the CMD and you want to click the little refresh button where you can see all your disks and it's going to refresh it and it's going to show you your disk without any new volumes and you will just see one. Now what you want to do is you want to select that one and click next and then you've completed the first bit of the installation. So now you've successfully installed Atlas. Make sure when it's boosted up, it's gonna open a CMD. Do not close the CMD as it's gonna apply the tweaks, wait for it to restart, and then you've got your system good to go. You can also skip to the post install um, part of this video, which I'm gonna show you guys the scripts and talk you through which each one does. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to the non-USB guide. If you don't have a USB or you can't afford one or you don't know where to get one, then this is gonna be helping you. And also you won't lose any files with this one as all it's gonna be doing is gonna be creating two bootable versions of Windows. So the one you already have on your computer um, and then it's gonna have Atlas as well. Um, so you will need this software right here. Um, so go ahead and download it. It will be in the description. If you if you if you don't want to download it, then you can also do it through normal Windows. But I won't be showing that in this video. So go ahead and download this, um, and then just download it and run it. Um, and then you'll be greeted by this window here. So what you want to do is you want to select your SSD wherever you want to install Windows onto. Now you have to allocate at least 30 gigabytes. So make sure that you have at least 30 gigabytes. At least 30 gigabytes of storage on your drive where you want to install windows so i'm going to be selecting my ssd because i don't want to install it on my hard drive you're going to right click you're going to click resize um, and then you're going to be unallocating around 30 gigabytes it doesn't matter or you can do more it really does not matter um, it just depends on if you're going to be um, deleting the old versions on Windows as you're moving on to Atlas, um, which you should definitely do so you don't have double Windows on your computer. So I'm, I have 45 gigabytes unallocated right now. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Um, and then with this unallocated space, you then want to create a new volume. I'm going to be naming it Atlas um, as, that, as that's what we're going to be installing. And I'm going to press OK. Now, once that is done, you are not done yet. You need to go ahead and press Commit. Um, so now we need to do so close, close, close all of our applications. Um, so just press OK. Um, this operation might be completed and be restarting the computer. I you restart right now. Obviously, I'm gonna press No because I do not want to restart my computer. But you want to go ahead and do that, and then you have a a drive which will be right here. So then come back to this video if you have restarted, and then we can continue. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting this batch script, which is in the description. You want to right click it, run it as administrator, and it's going to ask you for the full path of the ISO. So I put my ISO on my desktop, which I can then right click it. And then if you go to properties, you can then see the location. So you want to copy and paste this one into there. Um, I don't have a backslash on my keyboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one here. Um, and then you want to put the name of the ISO like that. So now you have that, you can then go in and press enter. It's gonna error for me, but it should be all good for you. Uh, this is because I'm on, on Atlas and it's actually stripped. Um, so it will, should all work all fine, but now you'll see a new drive has appeared on your PC. Which drive letter does it have? So you can go onto this PC, and a new drive will appear, and it's not going to be the same one as we made in our partition software. It's going to be a new one, which you haven't seen before. Uh, it's going to ask for the letter. So that's going to be, my, for, as an example, my USB stick is the E. Uh, you would then get the letter of whichever was created and type it in here. So say it was F, you just type F and press enter, and then it would work. And you would then be restarted into the installation for Windows, and you would go through all of that. Um, and then you would, you know, you, you would be set, you would be on um, Atlas. It will restart automatically um, as you will have to go through the tweak supplying stage. Um, but then you should be all good. Now, bear in mind, if you do restart your system, it will appear by asking you which windows you want to open. Um, as you do have technically two windows installed. Um, so what I recommend is you go onto the Atlas version of Windows, uh, which will pop up at the restart. Um, then what you do is you move all your files you want to keep from the way, from your main windows that you used to have onto Atlas. And then what you can then do is use the same partition software that we used before to then delete that partition which you had old windows on. So then you only have Atlas and you're good to go. Then once you've deleted that, you can then make that, uh, make your normal, make Atlas larger. So then you're using all of your disk and there isn't just like a bunch of unallocated space. That's all for the non-USB stick guide, and now we're going to go on to the post-installation guide.
Okay, so now you've installed Atlas, and now this is going to be the post-installation guide. So you will see a, a nice little folder on here called Atlas, which will be on your desktop when you launch. You can then open this, and there is some some little folders here, and also some links to our Discord, any wallpapers you may want to use, uh, some documentation, and also the issues place in case you have any issues with Atlas. Um, so I'm going to go through the registry folder right now. Um, so in case you want to um, enable Bluetooth, because it's actually disabled by default, we have that there. Then we also have uh, DEP, which you can search up what it is here. Um, it's recommended to enable DEP in case you're playing Valorant, because otherwise the Valorant and the cheat will not load, which means you can't play Valorant. And I think that's for uh, some other apps too, so you might want to enable this one. Uh, we also have uh, full screen optimization. Uh, I recommend to keep this uh, disabled, but you can also look it up. Uh, you have hi uh, hard drives, um, enable prefetching or disabling it. Dis in disabling prefetching and enabling it. Uh, you also have notifications in case you want to enable them. We have power, so sleep states, search indexing, start menu if you want to unlock it and add to icons like this. Um, we also have the store in case you want to disable that. We have UWP, uh, we have Wi-Fi and stuff. And also on a new version, we also have Xbox in case you want to enable, uh, disable any of the Xbox apps as well. Um, so that's the, that's the first bit. Uh, we also have the tools. Uh, so we have the archive, we have some links here. I uh, recommend you to install 7-zip, of course. A browser, we have some browsers here. I recommend Firefox. So now we have drivers. We have a GPU driver, which can be like AMD, NVIDIA drivers, which you can just do manually. Uh, we also have NV Clean Install. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can clean install it, uh, which means that it's going to strip any other bloatware, any anything you don't want to be installed. Say you don't need Shadow Play, you can remove it. It's very good. You'd recommend it 100%. And then we have Snappy Driver Installer, which we're going to move on to right now. So Snappy Driver Installer Origin is going to be in the description. You want to download it and then extract it. You then want to run the uh, 64 one, run it as administrator. And it's going to open up like this. So you can select... Um, so it won't be like this. Uh, this is because it's already got my index downloaded. Uh, I could delete it, but I'm just going to go for it right now. Uh, when you in when you open this for the first time, it's going to, uh, it's going to give you a dialogue. And it's going to say like... Um, it's going to ask you if you want to do indexing, if you want to download all the drivers and stuff like that, or any of the internet ones. You want to do the index, which is going to be the third option. So you want to click that and then download all the indexing. It'll only take around a minute, and then you'll be met with all your drivers which you have on your computer. So you want to select uh, whichever ones you want. So say I want to select, update my Logitech Brio. Um, so there's some for my, uh, my internet driver. Uh, so I can select one, and then I can click install right here. It's then going to download it. And then after it's downloaded, it, it's then going to install it, and then you should be all good from there out. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. Make sure to uh, join the Discord for Atlas in the description. If you have any questions, you can ask it there. We also have a ticket system, so you can request help if you need any. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.